YouTube. Um, today I will be showing you how to do this. Basically, you open After Effects, you go on here, you do text, then you put whatever text you want, Control Alt Home, then you put it in Home, or if you don't know how to do that, Transform Center and point in Layer Content. And then you put it in the middle. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And then you make a solid. Go to effects and presets. Go to elements. And then you go to custom layers. Custom text and masks. Path layer. And then you put. Rainbow FX in the number two. Then you go to scene settings. Then you do extrude, and then you have your text right there. So you go to presets, physical, chrome. Now you have like a chrome. So I'm going to uh, change the environment, which is like that environment. Uh, <laughs> fuck, man, fuck, fuck it all. But I'm kind of confused a little bit. And then also, I'll do like 25. Yeah. There, perfect. And then if you also want to change it to like be less than, you just go to bevel scale and that to. Of course, that depends on what you want. So I'm going to do 2.5. And if you want the text bigger, you'll just go to scale and then make the scale 125 and then up here you press ok LOUD <laughs> then uh, with the background you just and then on the little icon over there you just press that and then it's gone and now you want wall scale wall rotation and then you press U on your keyboard and then you Get these two, slide those keyframes right, and then and it depends on how you want to have yours come up right. So I'll do uh, and then like no, swing. Then let's do that, and also you can use flow, but if you don't have that, just have your keyframe like this basically, like that. Depending, you can like have your keyframe however you want it, of course. But yeah, so then we go to group one, particle look, multi object, and then you have your keyframe, you, you have your scatter multi 15, and then rotation, the like fourth one, you move that 90, right? And then you go to the beginning, you have those, the only those two, and then you have those. Yeah, I'm going to use my Smooth V2 um, keyframe, which is like that. Or if you want to edit it to like not be that slow, you can just do that and have it like that. And if you don't have flow, this is how your keyframe is supposed to look like. like that. And then you go. And then at the end, you make that like a 180. And then you put those like there. And then you get those. Oops. You get those, right? And then you get the in um, keyframe like that. Like that. And then now, we go to render settings, ambient occlusion, enable AO, SSAO intensity, 7.5 probably, depending on how you want it, if you want it more stronger, then you will do 25. Then you pre-compose those together, then you duplicate it, go to effects, put Escalo, depending on how you want it. If you don't want the glow, then that's completely fine too. Then, you go, and 
ACC drop shadow. Compose those together in United Airways. Of course, you don't need to, but um, yeah.